morning, Mr. Coffee and Tools. Your wife wants a lamp fixed that's in the living room and restored to its original condition. If you decide to accept this mission, it will be on your own accord. All records will be destroyed of anything that happened previously. This machine will self-destruct in three seconds. Howdy folks. <laughs> Ever have something like a lamp that the wife likes and says, oh, it's broke, but I want it fixed. I don't want a new lamp. I don't want another lamp that looks like that one. I want that one fixed. Yeah, Mission Impossible, Shh, pretty close. Um, I did some things this past week with it, so I've got some clips I'm gonna show you that actually date back a little bit to when we first started this repair. But as you saw the pole, the pole is about five and a half uh, feet tall and it's, it's sat on top of uh, this little, I guess it sat like, yeah, sat like that on top of this little guy. And then that sat on top of this base, which I'll just sort of give you a good look at it right there as to how it looked. It's a great big old lamp, you know, very antique looking. It has a beautiful uh, top that's all glass with different colors and whatever, very 1920-ish looking or something. So she really liked the lamp. And the only thing really broke was this little guy right here. And there's a stick right now. We'll explain how that, why that stick is stuck in there right now. But the, um, the biggest part of the problem was this is just pot metal. It's cheap old, you know, metal. And I thought about welding, can't do it. Thought about brazing it, can't do it. And it's like, all right, you know what? We'll clamp it up a little bit. And the only other thing I came up with uh, for a final solution was uh, fill the whole thing up with epoxy. What kind of epoxy? Yeah, my, uh, <clears throat> my idea, we'll see if it's gonna work because this is what it's about, we're gonna find out. Decided to plug one end with a stick, as you see, and turn it upside down like this and just fill the whole thing with epoxy. Uh, there's the, I'll do a close up thing there and hopefully focus. You can see where the, the, the split from here to here plus the whole top was off, so uh, epoxy and everything else to just hold it together, take the pressure, hopefully the pole when it sits down like this will go through the epoxy from the top to the bottom and not put all the pressure totally on the metal anymore because it obviously can't handle the weight of the lamp anymore. And also put the lathe on it and sort of, you know, give it a little, just shave a little bit to make sure it's nice and straight this way when we uh, reassemble this lamp so that it's, you know, straight up and down. So. Let's take the clips, we'll go back up a little bit to where uh, this part of the project started. And then uh, I have never drilled a whole pound of JB Weld, but uh, that's what I've got right here. <laughs> wow, the things you get into in the workshop. <laughs> so here's the piece, it's, you can see the huge split down the side of it, but also the top sort of broke away. The, the, it's just really poor pop metal. And the only thing I could think of was to hot glue gun the pieces back together because what I needed is sort of like a watertight, well, not watertight, but well, virtually a watertight seal. So first we hot glue gun the top back on and uh, sorry about a little bit off camera here. And then I decided for the uh, big split on the side of it, see if we couldn't get the hot glue gun to kind of bridge across it. And uh, it was kind of mucky looking and I looked at it, checked it all over because Really what I want is a total seal where I can just fill this thing up with epoxy and let it sit. So I went over and over it uh, with the uh, glue to make sure that everything was watertight, theoretically, before we uh, go ahead with the uh, fill. Also uh, stuck a uh, wooden plug in the bottom to try to seal that up that all I had to do was stand it up and fill it up with epoxy. At least that was the uh, easy general idea. <laughs> now, it gets worse, yeah. Okay, so we get the old popsicle stick out and there's the epoxy of choice. <laughs> oh, good. A pound, basically, of JB Weld to uh, mix up. And of course, even when you do the mix up thing, you've got another problem, but uh, I just happened to have some uh, hardwood flooring laying around, so yeah, you know what? We'll just there's there's a deal. We'll mix it up on that piece of old hardwood flooring that I've got left over, and mix a beautiful batch of this gray, lovely uh, epoxy stuff, JB Weld, and stirring it up. And you know, the biggest problem at this point was trying to get it in the uh, little guy afterwards, but I managed to get it all in there pretty cleanly, I think. 
and then let it sit up for about 24 hours and uh, hopefully uh, we've got uh, you know something we can work with at that point that's solid epoxy and it should be strong. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, I've got this wooden plug that is now JB welded into the bottom of this thing and it, you know, I've tried you know getting it out of there and I can't. A uh, quick explanation, uh, this is 27 64th. Yeah, I worked in a machine shop when I was a young kid, so I have a lot of odd sized drill bits, and that's what it took to uh, open this thing up to the right size so it'll fit the electrical uh, shaft that's coming down through with the tubing and the threaded, all, th all thread line and everything else that's in there. So now the hole is made, we're ready for the uh, reassembly, I guess, and pray for us and all that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're back now. We have the hole and we're moving to the next phase of this crazy project. Uh, uh, drilling through the uh, JB Weld was interesting. It sort of came up like metal at times and other times it came up kind of powdery, which is kind of, well, you know, I, I just don't know really what to make of that. Maybe we'll get some comments below on that one. Now all I got to do is uh, set this up on the base which is like that and then we need uh, you know we need the base <laughs> oh boy it's uh, sort of off-center uh, typical of uh, I guess we'll say uh, the sort of thing you run into these days with uh, quality control <laughs> and we got to connect these wires back up too which is gonna be uh, no big deal anyway. I'm gonna need okay so we got it started Okay, so I've got the piece back in, in the middle here, got the bolt and everything back on the plate. It's looking crooked, which is pretty much, uh, I guess you could say that was kind of expected. It's not real straight, unfortunately, and I'm not sure, I think it's the base plate in here, it just kind of squeezes up, so you might have a little bit of a lean, a little pizza lean thing going on. All right, we need to plug this thing in. Yeah, man, see what stars. So there it is in all its glory. And yay, of course the electrical still works. The pull is yeah, it's pretty straight. I don't think I'd wanna but, uh, you know, yay! <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the way we roll around here, what can I tell you? Uh, so how straight is it? Yeah, looking this way, it's nice and straight. Uh, looking this way, it looks uh, not too bad. It got a little bit of a lean at the back, but I think, I think, I'm hoping, uh, I think we can live with it. I think so. <sighs> okay, before before I forget, my wife wanted to make sure everybody understands. I we paid five dollars for that lamp at a yard sale. <laughs> okay, let's roll the the clothes on this thing. Guys, girls, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we gotta go back to that TV table. That's gonna be uh, a good project too. A lot of fun. This this one here was, uh, well, it looks like it's working. Uh, JB Well to the rescue. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. Whew, over and out. <laughs>